Hello everybody, welcome to Season 50, Round of 32 match between Martin Septim and his Bretonian Blitzer, and Perivale and his Pro Elf team. <laughs> Should be quite interesting. Martin has a Wizard and a Bribe and a Babe for inducements. Perivale's team is like pretty awesome, Twelve play only 12 players. Um, he's got a natural one-turner there. Strength bust, but who cares? He's got sprint and movement 10. Uh, he's got a really nice strength 4 mighty blow tackler here. To come in and kaz this guy. Dimmy, poor old Dimmy G. Instantly kazed. Turn 1 Apo usage. On a valuable guard. Peace, as some people like to say. Um, got a nice edge up guy here. I guess there's not it's not that nice as actually Perivale's team. Perivale's team isn't that nice, right? He's got an edge, he's got a guard, he's got a strength, he's got he's got everything you want. But he could do it like so he could do just do with more stuff, right? Like just more blodge and stuff. Uh but he's got he's got the exciting players. He has got the exciting players, edge up. Only one guard. A strength up and obviously a natty. Doesn't even have six. Hours. Well, Kadenik, you'll find that um, you don't need a lot of guard on an elf team. It's uh, much better off having sidestep than, than more guard. Uh, <laughs> that's just a Blood Bowl 3 Discord joke for you. Where there was a big circle jerk of people talking about how bad guard was <laughs> for elves. <laughs> Which, you know, not insulting the people who thought that. They're just wrong. <laughs> They're just obviously really, really wrong. And it amuses me that people can be that wrong. And think they're right. Wow, greeting this, Paravale. That was an interesting greed, wasn't it? Well, they can casually get guard now, right? They can casually get it in Blood Bowl 3. So they're saying it wasn't worth the TV. 40 TV is way too much. Plus, you know, you only need one guard as elves anyway. Let let teams like dwarves get loads of guard, but uh, elves just don't need it. <laughs> uh, that was a bit terrible, wasn't it? That was a bit terrible from Paravale. Because <laughs> this guy could have just gone there. But never mind. Yeah, he'll just run away. Yeah, that was a that was another thing that somebody said. Yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's taken a long time to talk about Paravale's team. Martin Septim's team has this Garda who was who was cast, um, and Apple. He's got another couple of guards, couple of reserves. He does have this tackle, like the tackle's relevant on this uh, this kind of crap blitzer, right? does have tackle. And he's got an edge four, blood sure hands blitzer, and obviously the strength five guard blodger is incredible. And the centerpiece of the team. Yeah. Blood Bowl 3 Discord is, is a laugh, as long as you don't like, as long as you don't let them uh, get to you. <laughs> as long as you don't let the insanity get to you. It's pretty funny. If I find the insanity getting to me, I block people who I block the most egregious commentators. <laughs> Comment as if they're. Uh... I'm not sure about this. I, I I quite like just going the other way and coming up here. But, uh... It's all fine, isn't it? Yeah, I, I quite like taking the space there. Cause he split, he split off his team, hasn't he? So now he's got to work to, he's got to work to get these two back. And one of them's is, you know, he's one of his best players. So. His favourite player, man, is over here. He doesn't have friends, he does he? Is he just gonna he's just gonna fill everything up? Oh my god, he's just filling everything up. Glorious. And then chain him off. 
Yes! <laughs> Fucking yes, Martin! You mad bastard, love it! <laughs> Absolute commitment to surf this sidestepper. Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. It <laughs> kills the other guy. <laughs> kills the other guy. <laughs> Gets the surf. Does nothing. <laughs> Absolutely fuck up. Bot all with the surf. And, and removes his own peasant. And completely concedes the drive. But that was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> that, that was pretty great. That was pretty great. <laughs> Play properly, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets or regrets take the pick another guy gone and doesn't even take that much space does he because he's used he's used five players to punch two Somehow. He somehow used five players to punch two. And just hasn't, like, you know, isn't here. It's only turn four, so, he, like, even being here wouldn't be that good, right? Because he'd have to he'd have to go here, then here, then here, then here. So this is still fine, but there's still a chance for, for Martin to get back in front of him. Bizarrely. Bizarrely after, like, after, sh after showing him, like, pretty good opportunity he didn't take it and then he just then he gave him a golden opportunity by going for that why is this flashing is that like the bird the bird's hat that was really weird Yeah, now he's now he's managed to just get back in front. That's kind of crazy to to have like, you know, to have given him the edge and then committed everyone here, and he still managed to get back in front of him. Oh, I hate this move. Okay, so the move is to be fair, the move is founding an edge five blood here, which is incredible, right? But he's stunned. First of all, he's stunned, and second of all, it's putting two players behind the ball. When you've only got like three players in front of it, I kind of hated that. If these two had come back here, I'd liked it a lot more. But there you go. Hello, Peravail. Um, a lot of them are. Like, the Linos are slow and shit, but the uh, the catches are fast, aren't they? Oh, he's against the Wiz as well, right? So I guess that was in his mind. Not in my mind, because I don't give a shit. Yeah, the surf was hilarious. <laughs> uh, Martin has a bribe and has two reserves. So, makes sense to pursue this strategy, doesn't it? But, uh, like, that just seemed like w when the elves hadn't gone past you and you've got the wizard, you know, and the edge five, uh, the edge four, sorry. Like, it feels like you're very much in this drive, so... Uh, I didn't like so much. He's already given up the drive to surf this guy, and then somehow hadn't given up the drive. So I think after I haven't given up the drive, then I would have definitely wanted to come back with it, with these these three, in fact. But um, you know, had had Perivel had like the ball here, like had his team here, then I would have then I would have been a lot more involved with the fouling. And founding first here is fine because you can you can bribe and move them up afterwards. Yeah, I like the surf. It was well. Yes and no. It, it's it's funny, isn't it? It's funny. Like it was hilarious. So I liked it because it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, the dodge catch is a good carrier, isn't it? Because he's he's got them he's got all the mobility. Um 
while still being a bit of bolt bait. He's not, uh... Oh, we've gone in early. <sighs> yeah, I think it's worth having... I would think it's... I think it's always worth having the ball and a catcher, right? Like, you should... If you're giving away a wizard, you should have... A, you, like, you should have a bad catcher that you can carry on still. Yeah, that's fair enough. Like, it was probably hard. It's gone past too quick and we can't go backwards on a replay, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, yes it is hard to stall against a wizard nudge for blood sure hands but I do feel like the absolute you know like I would have I would have gone I would have pushed harder when he when he left the, the side open a bit and then because I would have pushed harder then well first of all I wouldn't have I wouldn't this guy wouldn't have been there and wouldn't have got served but then once he's made that surf and he's put like six players there, seven players there, then uh, then surely you've got to be able to get up and, and stall out the rest of the half. Like, it feels like if your opponent is making that surf, that has to give you enough space to stall out the half, doesn't it, somehow? So I guess that's either, you know, the team or the whiz or the player making that the fact. Well, I mean, no, I'm talking about from Paravale's point of view. Like, I could have had Wood Elves, right? It would have been pretty much the same. I've still gone over that side. Yeah, the Strength 5 Bludger is horrendous, isn't it? If he, like, to be fair, the wizard, the wizard threat is significant. You know, let's make no bones about that. The wizard, the wizard threat is absolutely significant. There is a Natty, yep. He's had to be fielded though, because he's only got uh, 12 players. So the Natty is getting fielded now. He is strength 2 as well. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Johnny Fox. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, screening further up the pitch with with layers is like is harder because the only way he takes that surf is by splitting the team off and not taking the initial space. Right? If if you make the initial move up the pitch when you get the chance, then that strength four isn't there, and he's with your team, which means those six players are now over here, and it all gets a bit more like a normal drive. Right? You still you've got layers in front of you. And you're not really breaking through so much and you're still probing and then you make the rush at the end and either the whiz fucks you or it doesn't. Like I, I kind of hit going in early with against a whiz less now, honestly. after after maybe I should have done it against the Skaven in, in Chalice. This is very weak, isn't it? Although he's a sidestepper. This is very weak. Feel like we should have had another player in here, and you know, made this side a little bit. Because that is a that is a gaping hole. A gaping hole. Problem with the edge five is then you can bolt him as well, right? And like, you don't really want the edge five getting bolted, so I would have probably had the guard up there and the edge five there. So like, you know, just move these, move this screen over, both of them over. It's the edge five central. And responsive. For what it's worth. But yeah, obviously have this guy holding the side because because you don't wanna like you know, you wouldn't want to move this guy over there, which is obviously the least val valuable guy to get hit because you don't want to hold the edge of the guard or hold the edge of the H five, definitely. And uh, the H five moved him. Natty. Well, there you go. He's got the ball on a strength five guy in a cage. Um, no, uh, PC. <laughs> it's the Burts with the wizard. <laughs> it's one of those games where you think the other team should have the wizard, but they don't.
So, yeah. Very easy push and score. Don't make any extra rolls. I don't know. You should make the extra rolls here. I think. I think this is honestly. I think this is incorrect because they're armor seven and they're elves, right? The elves are really fucking good players. So you know, making those extra hits, one in twelve, nine, six. Um, I think you. I think you do have to make those hits, right? Overtime is a very real possibility with a natty. There's a good chance that you score on turn 8 and they score back. So there's a good chance of overtime. I think you've got to make those hits. Especially as you had the rerolls and there's like it was the end of the half, right? So like you could have put in the reroll and the hit. Different if it was the end of. If it's different to turn 16, you need the rerolls for overtime and stuff, then you don't make the hits. But uh, I think you had to make the hits there. I think, it's, I think it's incorrect to not hit. Even though. It was, uh, even though it was, you know, going to be like 4, 12, and 9, 6 chances or whatever. Um, I think you've got to. Uh, why play for the win in normal times? Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Natty? That, that is an interesting concept. Oh, P.I. There was somebody said about, like, somebody should have scored early against Chunter, didn't they, because of the one turn. Yeah, I guess there's an argument for scoring too early because of the one turn. And then... But the PI gives him the hit on the Natty. Whoopsie. And the PI takes down the strength 5 Bert. Glorious. So 3D with tackle. Reroll? Yeah. I thought you would reroll. It's debatable whether you should, right? It's really fucking debatable that, because he is the game. Like, he's the entire game at this point. Nah. Because you've got to have faith that you can put it in on turn 8. And you've got the wizard and everything, but you've only got two rerolls, and you've got a good chance of having to win in overtime. So that was a big reroll. I know J five rerolls it hundred percent, but that was a real big decision with only two. With three rerolls, I still think it's controversial with overtime, right? But with two rerolls, I wouldn't reroll it. But it doesn't mean it's wrong to reroll it. Because that is the whole game. Like if this guy, you know, this guy scoring the one turn is huge. Huge. Well, Jimmy's KO'd. No! Diced. Diced again. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's only ten versus nine, isn't it? It's not. It's not great. But the strength five, the strength five bird is pretty fucking hard to deal with, isn't he? This is one of the rare occasions that picking up with your hands and, and then handing it off to somebody else isn't that bad, right? Because he's got the catch. Still dodgy, like, if that's a 1 in 9, the edge 5 is right there. But yeah, like, how do you, how do you have a ball sack here? It's terrible, isn't it? Can potentially get get the guard in somehow and then get a one D, which is what happened at the end of the first half, didn't it? But it's, it's not going to be easy. There's an argument to be made for running away, I guess. Or blitz the dirty player that turn. You know, on the tackler, because obviously more likely to hurt him, more likely to knock him down, more likely to hurt him. Prime's gone, but he's got his reserves. 
and he, he will be finding the to. But I guess you've already lost your best player. You kind of a bit getting found. It's hard to pop the cage down, isn't it? Because I guess the, I guess some basing peasants, seeing as they won in nine, um, and he's only got two rerolls. I guess that's what Paravel has gone for. The problem is with basing them. And yes, they might one in nine, but they might also just pow you and uh, remove your uh, elves. So it's not so easy to. Uh, it's not so easy to bug the cage down, is it? And a strip, a stripper would be pretty great now, wouldn't it? Oh, somebody took dodge, didn't they? Oh shit! I totally forgot about the dodge player. Shit! Right, who is he? It's this one. Look, if he had strip, if he had strip, you could have punched him and you could have uphill stripped the ball. What an idiot taking dodge. Why would you take dodge there, Paravale? <laughs> Why on earth would you take dodge? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I did say I'd do that. <laughs> if there was ever a chance, I, I mean, I do think dodge is better, but it is it is hard to deal with this strength five guy. Like it is really hard to deal with strength five guy. But um, the way to deal with strength five was just scoring turn eight of your drive and then one turning after he scores on turn eight of his, and winning two one in normal time. And yeah, getting like if you can make him dodge, he's he's just as shit as any other bird, isn't he? So like, but you need players for that. So it's tricky, like. It's just, but I think you can beat him just by like good defense. Maybe. Whereas I, I think gimping yourself with a wrestle strip, just on the off chance that he's in the right place and has a route to the ball, like it's just a bit crap, isn't it? I can I can understand the like the obviously I can understand the idea of. of Wanting to take the, the strip on him. Haro Volcaho. We have again had the uh, uphill strip opportunity here. <laughs> In fact, if this is a power, no. There might have even been a one day strip. Right? If this is a power and then a guard in. Pow this guy, get guard in. Ah, oh, no, because he'd been in the way. Then run these around and get a. Get a 1D strip. Would have been possible. But obviously instant uphill strip. Being at one oh that that hit is shit, isn't it? So this could have been a push to there, right? I could have just pushed him to there. And then this guy could have gone one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. And then Go there and gone in for the one D with tackle. Oh, you got guard there anyway. Never mind, I'm a maroon. Could have gone two D though. Could have, could have. Yeah, there's a guard there, so could have still gone for two D even. But I was thinking of just going in this way with the with the assist there, but. Yeah, with guard, could have gone in for 2D. Which might have been an idea, probably not though. This was probably better. I, I missed the guard completely. Yeah, he's got three reels, isn't he? It's not great. It's, but then, are you going to get better than 1D on him? Probably not. Maybe it was worth going for the 2D. He goes in early. He goes in early. So yeah, that's the problem in it. Like, there's an argument that, you, that defending a multiple turn score with a wizard is better than defending the one turn, isn't it? I don't know exactly the odds of the one turn, but the fact that the one turn was KO'd would encourage you to try and stall out as well, wouldn't it? Because 50 percent of the time, he doesn't even get the one turn chance. So, could you have stalled it? Don't know. 
I would have. I at that stage, I would have tried to stall it and hope he didn't get the ninety back. To be honest, but I don't know how feasible the stall was. Haven't paid too much attention. Bunch of dodges. I mean, he wasn't going to get a better chance of the ball, but he forced the score in early, didn't he? Oh my god! <laughs> he forced the score, which was which was good enough. So a minus one pitch invasion and seven are down. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so if you get that 1D on the ball, then re-rolling it because he's going to be in a cage and completely protected and stall out the rest of the half, then you definitely re-roll it, right? But when you... Uh, when the result is... Everything's based up, and he's, he's probably got to score, or at least feels he has to score. Then um, it's a lot easier to not re-roll it, isn't it? That was an insane pitch invasion, yeah. Yeah, mine's got one fame, but he's still he's still got four of his own stunned anyway. Huge foul. Huge. Nothing. Wow, his fouls have been wank. <laughs> he did not pray to Ducky. A foolish error. And now everything's up and it's totally fine again. And he's elves, so... Gets to hit the edge four, which is great, isn't it? A great thing to do. I wonder if uh, 100 fouling the strength 5 bird was a good idea. <laughs> like I wouldn't want to. But I wonder if it was a good idea. Because he could have got like 2 or 3 assists on it. <laughs> I think it's pretty stupid, but he's such a good player, isn't he? A bit like the reroll on on the natty, with, you know, on the natty knockdowns. It's pivotal, isn't it? Ah, yes, that's why there's two. That's why there's two back in case the wizard nice. Maybe could have been carrying on the shit catcher instead of a good one, because we'd have still given a chance for like you know. A, because he's got nerves, so like Mark him does nothing. So could it still like run up, hand off? He runs up and then like. Yeah, the two catches deep is pretty shit, but I'd I'd have definitely done them the other way around. But I, I think it was I think it was a good, good strategy. The two catches deep. Yeah, he gets bored though, doesn't he, Ducky? Would there be? Would there though? No, there wouldn't. Because he, he has he has the natty here, and then nah. Oh, really, Sunny? Oh wow! And go in. Oh. Well, he's unlikely to get a one-turner, isn't he? Um. Yeah, I get what you're saying, that he could have moved there, turn 15, 16, but you would have just played it differently, right? Like, you could have just played it differently. And I just think... Because you're not really going to 3-2 anyway with the other catcher, right? So he's not really giving you an extra scoring option there anyway. Whereas the 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 move 10 would, would do the same thing. So I really like carrying on the dodge catcher and not carrying if he gets bolted.
But I mean, that's mean I might. It does mean you don't have to worry about the turn 16 wizard, but on the other hand, now you've got to worry about an overtime wizard. Which might be more impactful, mightn't it? Yeah, but, you know, like I wouldn't have cared about the one turn, so I would, I would have just put the three worst players in the LOS, but, you know, we've all seen me. We've all seen me defend against one turners uh, <laughs> with the gaping hole method, so. I just don't give a lot of respect to one turn chances, rightly or wrongly. I mean, it's unlikely, right? It's unlikely. He's got a move seven, edge four, without sidestep. He's got to pick it up with an edge three to get it to him. And you could have three and you're backlining. I don't know. He could. I just, I just wouldn't respect the chance. I wouldn't respect the chance as much as I wouldn't want this guy to get fouled. And KO'd and stay out for overtime. But, never mind, he gets a removal. Yeah, it's just a lot of dice, like, you know, even even if it's Kfog, you know, where, like, you know he you know he's gonna get it done. Um, I still just don't care that much against a move seven. Yeah, he doesn't want to use the last reroll on it as well, yeah. So he's gotta do it without rerolls, basically. Well, you might have to. He, he would put in the reroll at some point if he had to. Yes, the apple. I think you've got to apple the KO, right? You have to apple the KO. There's no, no decision there, yeah. No decision, you have to apple the KO. Because any any Kaz in overtime, your, KO, your apple doesn't matter. And then the chance of you getting a KO'd guy is like, you know, and then it mattering is just not as much as this guy not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like if you have two babes you don't apple him but um you, you've got to apple him you've got you absolutely got to in my opinion which is is another mark against like de defending against the one turn but it's it's fair enough i don't think it's terrible at defending against the one turn i just wouldn't and it might bite me in the ass every now and then um so there you go he's won the toss he's got Power bird and a wizard. How many players? Eleven. Full eleven still. Amazingly, Perivale has eleven. Like that's unbelievable, isn't it? Like I know he's got no mighty blow, but he's 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 had two dirty players, has he? Oh he's one dirty player. He's had one dirty player and a bribe and he's he's fouled a fair amount. Pretty great, still having eleven. How faulty? But yeah, there's no mighty blow, and there's only one tackle. Yeah, the mighty blow is a huge, a huge difference for sure. Like unprotected armor seven. So yes, it's it's kind of crazy that you've made no removals as well. Yep. Well, there you go. The chance of a player getting KO'd, and it's an instant KO, so that would have absolutely been early enough to apple. So there you go. There you go. Unbelievable, Jeff. That is outrageous. But do only get access on the wrestlers. Yeah. Strength access, that's why. Pretty much everyone just goes guard on them. This game looks well. I don't know if it's going to kicks. It looks like it. It's looks, cause it just literally because it looks like it's going overtime, but it's in overtime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if Perivale wins the toss, he just wins, doesn't he? Because he's got a move turn. Nine. Losing the toss makes it a game, so that's good for the ne the neutral observer. <laughs> Well, the thing is, Doug, I think we'd all like them toned down, right? Like, that's the thing. We'd all like them more Blood Bowl 3 turned down. 
turned down rather than turned off. It's in the, but there's no option to turn them off. So then it comes in. Do you uh, do you keep it blood ball by not turning them off, or do you just turn them off and then it's not really blood ball anymore? But it's a bit uh, it's a bit fairer. And what's a fishes ref? Wal Kaho <laughs> Every game goes to kicks. <laughs> True display of skill. Yeah, Stadium Hands are part of the Blood Bowl 2 game, yeah. That's a good point. You get uh, you get to argue with Colo, don't you? But I guess worse than getting stunned, I guess. It's not as bad long term as getting killed. Well, that's an oh yes, yeah, they they've done an incorrect, they've done an incorrect FAQ, haven't they? Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, they literally made an incorrect FAQ <laughs> in classic Games Workshop style. In classic Games Workshop style, they uh, they uh, they incorrectly FAQ'd their own their own rules. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well yes, but every other one is Volk, so I mean that's a fucking that's a fucking Reddit tier take to say that. <laughs> All of the others are t t t tuned down. And this is tuned down in terms of uh in terms of permanent injuries, right? Like having your best player getting killed from a rock is such bullshit. This is a terrible turn from Paraville, by the way. Terrible. Just these three guys doing nothing. I really hated that. Only three players in front of the team now. Well, the thing is, Mordred, they don't have to. <laughs> so why should they? You know? That's the thing, right? That's the thing. Their share price is soaring. Because it, the rules don't matter. Uh, do I, uh, Would I have sidestep to here? Yes. Would it have mattered? No. Would I have sidestep to here? I guess there's still this one and this one. Oh, this was the right square size step two. Oh, it turns out this was the right one to stop him getting through. I was thinking him coming out the back door, but this guy was stopping this anyway. So I guess you should have then thought about the front door and size step to there. But yeah, this was a lot of progression given by this this mangled mess here. Not really doing a lot. Oh god, more going over here. Oh, I don't like this. Or was he just getting out of the way? To you? you need stuff back in front. Like, desperately, this guy needs to come all the way back. Blitz and get in front. Pushed him closer to the end zone. Oh, God. Oh, do I not like this? No, I would have, I would have just I would have just like blitzed the furthest forward guy, either either him or him, and just try to get shit back in front. Yeah. Wasn't in scoring range, was he? Until you pushed him into scoring range. <laughs> <laughs> oh I hate this as well. Just block with this guy. Just block with this guy and then score. Man, I fully just go for the double GFI there. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just blitz, blitz him with somebody else and go for the double GFI and just just end it. Because elves can do stuff. Maybe you don't go for the G double GFI. Maybe you blitz him and then if, like, if you don't power him, you, you don't score or whatever. 
But it feels like elves can do something. And he's still got his, he's still got his reward. This was obviously de this was desperation sticks now. Mm -hmm. Chicken is now chicken. <laughs> How is it different? <laughs> oh, you mean it's not so strumming anymore? Yeah, that's been like that for ages, Volk. Have you been away a while? And yeah, chalice nerves is a thing. So yeah, it was just a bit of a, a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a, a, bit of a wobble at the end, wasn't it? With the uh, that that like midfield turn, I really didn't like that midfield turn. With like kind of getting behind, behind the team, isn't it? Like I think it's really important when somebody can score at any time is to just really try and keep everything in front of them, and then, and then that was like putting. Like, one guy went not behind the ball, but the ball was over here, wasn't it? And then, like, he went there, and he went kind of level with the ball. And the others went there, and it made it hard to get back the next turn. And then and then he was able to go through, and there was the desperation, which, again, I think maybe you could have recovered. But maybe the maybe the desperation was fine. Like, it's hard to know, isn't it? Like, you know, it's it's really hard to know when when things should be... You know, it's easy. It's, e it's kind of easy... To, you know, look at Elliot and see him, like, you know, put it off and put it off and put it off. And then randomly something happens and he, he gets the ball back and it's all right. But then it's also, you know, it's easy to do that yourself. And then, oh, all of a sudden he's scored and you're like, shit, I should have done the desperation play. So it's tough. It's tough. It, but again, like that that previous turn where those guys go in there, if, if you pull back that turn, then... He doesn't get in such a bad situation. Then maybe you can do things, and maybe you can generate something with a bit more odds. But uh, interesting, though, very interesting. Um, those kind of things are interesting, aren't they? So there you go. Yeah, yeah, like it's it, and there you go. Yeah, there you go. Exactly, Paravale. So like, there's pros and cons, right? So it's all, it's all. Yeah. So yeah, tying up the strength five so that you can't do that. So you're taking something away. But leaving something else on, so it is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> right. Um, so there you go. Congratulations to Martin Septim. Commiserations to Paravale. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.